Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Brisbane. It is by the grace of God that I am here. <laughs> I tell you, if you have not seen my three videos that I have made on cans, the cyclone cans, the scuba diving cans, the cans everything, the disaster, then go and check that out. But we are finally here in Brisbane and I'm liking the vibe. Let us go check it out. So to get from the airport here in Brisbane to the city centre is so easy, it's unbelievable. Uh, you can see this train here crossing the bridge, I don't know if you guys can see that. That train goes directly from the airport, the domestic, the international airport, and it goes basically all the way to the Gold Coast down south of Brisbane. It's amazing, it was so quick, so efficient. It's not busy at all, even though when I came, I landed at like 5 p.m., which is supposed to be rush hour. It was not busy at all. It was so clean. Instructions were good. It was on time. I was so impressed. I am liking the vibe here in Brisbane. It's like, let's see if they wave. No, nobody waves. So it's now 6 p.m. It's almost sunset, which is actually a really beautiful time to come and walk around. Thank God here in Brisbane, the weather is dry. The weather is clean. Having said that, it is hot it's humid um but thank god it's not raining so it's a perfect time to to come here and explore so what i'm going to do is basically just walk around the city um i'm going to walk to the sign that says it just literally says brisbane which is you know very simple but i like it so i'm going to walk towards that and basically at the same time just explore the city when i was looking at it from the plane it's kind of this meandering river with sky skyscrapers around so you can see obviously they got bridges and the river goes between these buildings so it's looked at very similar to london i must say again i've been told by my friends who live here if you like brisbane you'll love sydney so i'm really excited to go to sydney as well but you know i'm just excited because this feels like the actual start of my trip so fingers crossed everything inshallah goes well from here on out but welcome to brisbane let's walk let's go you'll be able to see it's not that easy to walk around this city it's very i think it's more of a car city but you can see loads of brand new apartments that they've got on either side where obviously probably young people are working you know so it's quite nice it's not like when it beeps it means you can go it's not like kind of astana kazakhstan vibe where you can't walk at all it just takes hours but at the same time it's no new york or london it's it's not that easy to walk around here you know it's it's very new it looks very new it's quite nice and i think i'm not like necessarily scoping out places to live but i think the reason brisbane to me is looking like a nice place is actually because yes it's new but because they're building all these high-rise buildings with and I've, I've had a look at some of them they are nice apartments luxury apartments that have kind of restaurants downstairs swimming pools and a gym within the building very much singapore dubai vibes so i get what they're trying to do oh, it's beautiful it's really nice actually i don't know what that i was gonna try and walk on that that's what i thought i was doing oh look and you've got a platform one thing you'll notice here in Australia is they are extremely fit people and not just like fit as in they're sexy but they're very very active whether they're sexy or not and that's that's maybe to debate sorry Australians but they're active and I think this is this is a problem I have with London. London doesn't have enough outdoor spaces. It doesn't have enough spaces for people to go on a, a run or go and exercise unless you live somewhere very wealthy like Vauxhall. For the rest of the population, it's not the case. Here in Australia, even in Cairns, they've kind of got that pier where people go running. People, you know, can do free weights and free training and they have free classes. And 
even in the hostels they have that kind of thing it's really really nice it's it's the culture here in australia is very much fitness culture and i think that is the way forward i don't know it just feels very clean it feels feels clean it feels new it feels green they're health conscious they're diet conscious people you know it's very much like if you are a young person and you want to move to a city you don't want to move to sydney because of the rental crisis you want to live somewhere nice somewhere central nice food nice vibes good transport system this is the place guys again i know melbourne is supposed to, you know people talk about melbourne being the most livable city in the world I'm, I'm pretty sure Brisbane is not far off. I'm not going to Melbourne, unfortunately, this trip, but it's, it's what I hear about Melbourne. But even Melbourne has a housing crisis, just like Sydney. I'm not sure if that's the same here in Brisbane because they're building a lot, um, so it's really nice. And even, look, even like the structures are nice. I, I'm impressed, I'm very impressed, I have to say. This is, it's a nice vibe, just to walk around. There's no people, though. <laughs> It's not a populated country. Do not do not get mistaken about this. There may be a rental crisis, but it, this is not a populated country at all. I wonder what the population is. I don't know, but maybe Sydney, maybe everyone just lives in Sydney and Melbourne, but it's, the two places I've been so far, Cairns and Brisbane, it is not busy at all. Oh look, and they've got our Lao flowers. Remember our Lao flowers from Lao. It's beautiful. That's interesting, even though it's a city, you can hear, you've still got that tropical vibe. I didn't go for any runs or any physical exercise in cans, basically because I was so stressed as the situation and also there was a bloody cyclone, so it was raining all the time. But I might just be compelled to go for a run here in Brisbane. It's so livable. It, it, honestly, it's so livable. It's like Korea in Seoul. The, uh, I can't remember the name, but the, the Cheonggichon stream in Seoul. It's kind of like that. It's beautiful. Oh, sorry, I'm in the way. I mean, I don't know how long I've been recording for, but you'll be able to tell me how many people you've seen running, cycling, it's 6.30 p.m., it's almost sunset. You know, it. Ah, I love it. Here it is. Of course, like with any sign, you're gonna get the children. Same with Baku, if you guys remember. If you don't remember, it's because you haven't watched. If you haven't watched, what are you doing? Okay, now crossing the bridge, gonna go to, I think it's called Queen Street, which is basically where they have their main shopping mall. I apologize about the footage. I know the GoPro is not that good in nightlight. It's, it's not known for nightlight. So I might switch to using my phone um, because my phone is very good at nightlight. But anyway, we're just walking there basically because there's an atmosphere there and there's this Korean restaurant that I saw that looked nice. So I'm gonna go there. This is nice. It looks like the Raffles Hotel in Singapore. It means you can cross. It's called Treasury. Ah, it's a casino. No, joking. I don't know if you could see that on the GoPro, but I jumped towards it. Right, so this is Queen Street. It's a, actually a mall. That's why this road is kind of famous. If, you, if we walk down, which we will in a second, I'm just going to walk down here first. If we walk down that way towards the Korean restaurant, it's uh, giving very much Chicago vibes. See, you can't see me very well on the GoPro, but I, I, I'll just say it now. This is what it is. 
it's Chicago. It's like Australian Chicago. That's why, yeah, it's nice. Right, there's nothing, oh, there's a Christmas tree. And then it's just all kind of Santa Clausy. I mean, it's nice. There's, yeah, it's a nice atmosphere, nothing really to do. This is the Queen Plaza. I don't know what it is. It looks like a luxury mall. I'm going to go to the food court because obviously that's the most important thing. What have we got, guys? What have we got? Beef noodles, Locatin, Provence, Chinese restaurants. They've got a lot of uh, Asian food here because obviously it's much, much closer to China and Japan. Okay, here it is. I'm sitting outside a takeaway restaurant. This is the best one. Guava. Guava. Oh my god. Basically, this restaurant's not open. I think it's a cafe and it's just in the middle of the street. The Korean restaurant was so busy that I was basically just like, oh my god, just give me a takeaway and I'll, I'll just go. It was like at the bottom of a university accommodation and so it was packed so I just got a takeaway and now I'm sitting and eating. So. Really nice, like really nice. This is so beautiful. It's just a random like park. Oh wow, amazing. Again, look at the livability. You've just got random. This is just under a bridge by the way. This is under the literally under the the motorways. And they've got ping pong table, literally like botanic gardens. You can see wildlife is thriving here. I saw a little wallaby and you've got fitness there as well. So I'm just, utilized space. It's just like a city of the future. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's just in a busy street. view from the top of the hostel, the hostel pool. It's quite nice. Okay, so welcome back to Brisbane City where we are just walking right now. Just going to go to a burger joint, get some lunch. And then what I'm going to do in the afternoon, I'm kind of undecided yet. They do have like a fake lagoon here because there's no beach here in Brisbane. So kind of like how they have a, a lagoon in Cairns, they've also got one here in Brisbane by the river. So probably gonna go to that afterwards. There are a couple of museums here. I'm not sure if I have the time. Basically I have until the end of today to just explore Brisbane. And I think the lagoon is a must do and the weather is beautiful today. So for the first time I am going to go swimming. I mean, I did go swimming in Cairns, but I basically, it was more drowning than swimming, but anyway. I just, I don't know, I think it's very well linked, the city, because the trains kind of take you everywhere. They're very efficient, very fast. They've also got buses that run through the entire city. Having said that, most people do drive here. Well, this is really beautiful. You know, see, this is what I mean. Like, it's not easy to walk and cross these big roads and big highways, but you still can walk. It just takes a little bit longer, but it's, they've got walk pathways everywhere. It's so beautiful. It really is. It just, it brings you such serenity walking through nature. And you know, it sounds tropical. To be honest, that kind of serenity with big roads, it feels like Kuala Lumpur. It really does. And the weather is kind of like it as well. It's hot, a little bit humid at this time of year, but I don't think that's all year round but it feels like Kuala Lumpur. 
It's really nice. Just stopped off at this burger joint. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. This is interesting. It's like a food festival or like a, a market. Oh, those look really good. Ube. <gasps> I don't want to be greedy though, because like, I don't... <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm going from side to side, that is my... I saw that somewhere they had a Turkish guzlima. Guzlima is like Turkish flatbread, kind of. Guzlima narda. Narda guzlima. <gasps> Burda. I saw someone that had this, it looked really good. Falafel. Oh, this is really nice. It's like a food market. They got Guzlema, Gyros, I think. Fruits, mangoes. It's not Pakistani mangoes, so disappointing. It's not seasoned, to be honest. Strawberries, ten dollars. Bit expensive, isn't it? If you are wondering, sorry, I'm. I probably. I don't know whether I'm going to put the currency exchange in or not. Mango juice, eight dollars. I might have to get that. Um, basically, the currency exchange. Just divide it by two. It's not exactly two, but it's almost two. So just divide it by two. What's this? Churros. I'm gonna go get that mango juice. BRB. Oh, okay, was that worth eight dollars? No. Um, <laughs> it just kind of tastes like Rubicon or something. But it's extremely hot, so I don't care. It's extremely hot and I probably should have wore sun cream when I get to the beach. By the way, we're going to the beach, sorry. And it's an artificial beach, it's called Street Beach or South Bank Beach or something like that. Um, so it's a fake beach that they built here in Brisbane because obviously Brisbane doesn't have a beach. So that's, that's nice, so we're gonna go check that out. Um, I will put sun cream on when I'm there. I'm not gonna make the same mistakes, guys, as previously in my previous videos in Laos. It's actually so beautiful how close you are to the water you could literally even sit on the edge and your feet would be in the water it's so at one with oh do you know this is australia is not a country with just nature it's a country that has built cities and adapted to the nature around them and takes great pride in that but also takes pride in preserving the nature and looking after the environment it's amazing. It's it's like a, a kind of English version of Singapore. I mean, in, in, Singapore is English version of... Anyway. Well, isn't that interesting? A pagoda right by the South Bank. This is the Nepalese Peace Pagoda. Was installed for Expo 88. Very nice. We we'll just see from the outside. It's not that big, but it's. I'm not going to go in because I'm wearing shorts. I don't think you should ever go into a place of worship if you are wearing shorts. That's beautiful, though. Wouldn't expect that from Australia. Well, I mean, I suppose it's just like any Western place. Wow, this is very, very interesting. It's kind of like an artificial beach. I'm not really gonna show you anything other than this because people obviously come here and uh, it's, you know, it's just not really proper for me to be recording people at the beach. So anyway, I'm just gonna stay here, relax, and I will see you guys later.
This is nice. So it's like an area and they have films every night. Two films. One at 6.30pm and one at 8pm. Kind of for Christmas. It's like a perfect kind of running exercise city. It's like, you know, when you go to the gym and you go on the treadmill and it's got those paths already made out for you and it looks like you're running through a city. Brisbane is that city, basically. It's just so well laid out and friendly for people that want to exercise, go on walks and everything. It's beautiful. Separate path for the cyclists in the middle. You walk on the red. It's structured and we're, this is the bridge that's going to actually cross the river. I mean, it's like a perfect society. Like even they've got toilets. There's nothing here. This is literally just a walkway, but they've just got public toilets by a viewpoint. It's, it's like a perfect society. Okay, and up we go. So I decided I'm not going to go to the botanical gardens because I just didn't think I'd have enough time because as you can see it's on the other side of the river and it's just a bit complicated as I say when you walk in Brisbane it just everything takes a long time. So what I'm walking to now is the kangaroo cliff point which is basically just has a viewpoint over Brisbane. There is another one you can go to I think it's by a mountain Mount something um, but it's a little bit further away and I can't be bothered basically. So this one is much, much closer. It's within the city and yeah. It's interesting though. It's a very much a residential area. You can see people are rock climbing on these. It smells a bit of urine, unfortunately. It's an interesting vibe. Full of people running, walking, cycling. Oh, I'm convinced. I suppose we're approaching the end of the video. Not yet, but you're going to want to see the sunset. But am I convinced Brisbane is a place to move, a place to live? Hell yeah. <laughs> as a doctor, as a healthcare worker, as a health professional, as any professional, it's such a livable city. Right, I'm gonna sit down for this, I'm very, very hot. With the Church of Jesus Christ behind me, it's called Church of Jesus Christ, and the sunset here over Brisbane, I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching from Brisbane. It is a beautiful city. It is so modern and livable and Western and Gen Z, frankly. There's places to run. Most restaurants offer vegan food. It's all about health, it's got good transport, good infrastructure, they're very very keen on electric cars and everything like that and it's just a very very beautiful city and so I would 100%, 100% recommend if you are thinking about moving to Australia, Brisbane is definitely somewhere that you should consider, it's somewhere that is kind of up and coming but at the same time it's got a major airport, it's not disconnected from the rest of the world unlike some other places in Australia. Thank you very much for watching from Brisbane. See you next time. Don't forget, it's a beautiful day to travel. Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down The sky is falling down